One, two, three, go. Hey, today is almost February. Today is January 31st. It's almost February. And... 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 Oh, yeah. So, and I was running a couple errands today. One of those errands being watering my grandmother's garden. She has a huge tree in her front yard and her backyard. Felt like I walked through, like, sheets and sheets of spider's web. It probably wasn't that bad. It was actually not that bad. I'm being dramatic. But it got me thinking um, about spiders and their lifespan and how much of their lifespan, like, hello? How much of their lifespan? How much of their lifespan it takes to climb into a tree, find a crevice that they like, begin webbing their web into Webbington. I was started to compare it to how long it took them or how long their lifespan was. No. <gasps> Let me just give you the bullet points because I'm terrible at articulating thoughts. Any thought. When I find a spider, I'm looking around my room, when I find a spider in the crevice, in the corner, I'm thinking, what is your journey? What is your journey? How long did it take you to get into the crevice of my room specifically? And how much of your life did you, how much of your life did you waste trying to get to my room? And if anyone has the answer to this, I know I could just Google it, but I like yapping, I'm a yapper. If anyone knows how much of a life, how much of a spider's lifespan do they use getting to a destination? Whether that be a tree, my room. Oh my God, I have spiders behind my mirror, the mirror of my car, you know, the side mirrors. I have multiple spiders, families. Well, a whole lineage, a whole multiple generations of spiders that have lived in my car mirrors. How long does it take for them to find these habitats? And how much of their life have they used on looking for places to live? Oh, that's so devastating. Some spiders have lifespans of less than a year, while others may live for up to 20 years. Why was I thinking like the lifespan of a gnat was equivalent to the lifespan of a spider? Okay, anyways, next topic. The other day I was talking to my friend and I used the word plausible. I feel like plausible is a, a you, uh, hello? Is a common word to use, but I feel like there's another word that is equivalent to plausible and I'm gonna get there, hold on. Plausible. Plausible. Mm-hmm. Um, of an argument or statement seeming reasonable or probable. A plausible explanation. But when I said it in the sentence, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. I meant possible. My friend said that they're the same, they're the same, they mean the same thing, you can use them interchangeably. So that leads me to wonder why they both have to exist, and why whoever created the English language seriously deserves jail time, indefinitely. Because I trip up on spelling all the time, and if I did not have an iPhone auto-correcting my spelling, I would sound like the most illiterate human being on the planet. I'm so serious. Possible, able to be done within the power or capacity of someone or something. Surely it's not possible for a man to live so long. Surely it's not plausible for a man to live that long. No difference. No difference, but I will say plausible sounds a little bit more like fancy. It's it's a more of an eye catcher. Possible is just more casual. You know, she doesn't want to do too much. She doesn't like too much attention. You don't think about her more than outside of the conversation. Plausible, you're going to leave that conversation and think about her when you're at home. Am I right or am I severely wrong? You can let me know. If my thoughts are thoughts you had in second grade, keep that to yourself. I don't wanna hear it. I'm, I have to log off. It's time because if I'm here for more than the allotted time, which is 10 or less, it could get ugly. And the yapping won't stop because I actually do have, I was gonna show you my credit card, oh my God. I'm actually a certified yapper and this is proof. Yapification of Kyla Kalina Osborne. The yapification of a 21 year old girl who's turning 22 i'm not a child anymore but i feel like i'm 17. that's another point i have 45 seconds left i don't feel like i'm 21 i feel like i'm still a 17 year old i don't feel the age that i am what is the age that you feel you are and i'm not saying what is the age you look like what is the age you wish you were what is the age you think you are is it younger or older than your actual age and why do you feel that age goodbye